Good afternoon, Year 5, and welcome to your second science lesson of this week. Um, let me share my screen with you for your starter activity. It's going to be three questions for your starter activity this time. Uh, one is based on our topic that we did last half. Um, one is based on a unit of learning that you've done at some point in your Greenridge lives. And one is based on the previous lesson. So what is an irreversible reaction? What's the difference between a carnivore, a herbivore and an omnivore? And what is a source? Thinking back to what we looked at yesterday. So pause the slide, have a go at answering those three questions. And when you're ready, um, carry on playing the video and I will go through the answers to those. OK, so uh, an irreversible reaction is a reaction between two materials where you cannot get the original materials back. For example, um, if you were to burn uh, a piece of paper, you wouldn't be able to get the piece of paper back from that. That's an irreversible reaction. Um, the difference between a carnivore, a herbivore and an omnivore, carnivores eat meat, herbivores eat plants and omnivores eat both. Um, and what is a source when we're thinking about sound? A source is anything that creates or emits a sound. Uh, and that's one of our key bits of vocabulary for today as well. So we're looking at a source. We're still looking at vibrating and vibrations as well. So to vibrate is to move continually and rapidly to and fro. Uh, and a vibration is an instance of vibrating. So um these are our working scientifically skills that we would be looking at particularly if we were in school um today the lesson would have been very very different if we were in school we would be having a look at instruments we would be investigating what happens as we play them as we get sounds from them how we can stop them how we can muffle them how we can mute them um but we are improvising and we are adapting so we are doing a slightly different lesson today um, so we talked last time about the fact that to create a sound, something needs to vibrate. And we held our hands to our voice boxes and we can see when we're talking or when we're humming or when we're making noise with our mouths, we can feel a vibration here. And that's our voice boxes creating that sound. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to watch three slow motion videos of musical instruments being played. And you guys are going to have a go at drawing an annotated diagram for each one to show what happens as it's being played. Uh, the instruments we've got are a, something called a tuning fork, which is a metal fork that when you hit it, it makes a specific note. Um, and it goes on for quite a long time. Lots of instruments use it so that they can tune their instruments to be the same as that. Uh, we're going to look at something called a snare drum, which is a type of drum. Uh, and we're going to have a look at a symbol. All three videos are going to be in slow motion, so you should be able to hear the notes, but I want you to watch what happens to the instrument and see if for each one you can draw an annotated diagram to show what happens when it's creating sound. So let me share my screen and make sure that I'm sharing sound with you as well. And we will start off with the tuning for um it's fascinating with this one they put it over a glass of water so watch what happened to the water as well if you want to include that in your diagram you can because it's very cool was the tuning fork and hopefully you could see the vibrations that it was making were strong enough to even send water flying as well so how could you show that with an annotated diagram let's have a look at the snare drum now if we were in school what we would have done is we would have got some of these drums and put something on them so that we could see what happens to those things like rice with you got the when it vibrates so let's have a look again it's in slow motion so let's see what happens to the skin of the snare drum So you can see, even after it's been struck by the drumstick, the skin keeps on vibrating. And finally, let's have a look at a cymbal. It's got strange music in the background of this one, but it's not the noise the cymbal's making. Mm -hmm. 
Again, with the symbol, you can see because it had the droplets of water on it, uh, you can see the effect that that had. So your job is to, for each of those three instruments, draw an annotated diagram to show what happens when they're being played. Show the difference between them when they're not being played, when they're silent and when they're being played. Have a think about how you might muffle it, thinking about what you know um, with vibrations causing sound. Uh, good luck and send me over your um, pictures when you have finished them.